Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be having a sit down chit chat video. We are going to be spilling some tea. We're going to be getting personal. I thought it'd be fun. Well, not fun, but I thought it was kind of time that I kind of share a little bit of what's been going on in terms of not really like my business because I ain't about that life, but in terms of like what I've been learning because Literally, I tweeted this the other day and I feel like I've learned more in the past couple of months than I have genuinely learned in the past, in my past 18 years of life. I literally feel like so much has happened and I've learned so much and I've been faced with, I've been having to like deal with a lot of things that I never, you know, you know that vibe when they're like, I never expected it, I never expected it. Like, I never expected it. But it's happened and so yeah i thought i would share with you guys some things i've learned some tips just give this video a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel like i said my name's i don't think i said my name my name's jodie i'm 19 and i'm currently a university student create lifestyle funny videos makeup all that kind of fun stuff so yeah let's get straight into this video. so the first thing i have learned and i've always kind of known because people have always said to me and like i've seen in like little like sprinkles but people really are selfish as in like people are like real talk i feel like 92 percent of the population have one hella strong selfish gene that controls them and their life how much people will always choose themselves over anyone else and i like to think that i'm someone who is not selfish or i try to be selfless i try and give a lot to people and i think i've learned recently that you have to pick and choose who to do that for not everyone is deserving of your selfless nature not everyone is deserving of your selflessness i'm kind of learning and accepting that this is just the way people are and in order to protect myself i have to be that little bit more selfish but Obviously I'm not advocating being selfish, like don't go join that 92% of the population that I just made up. Um, but yeah, like limiting it and knowing when to be selfless and when to look after number one. Everyone is looking out for number one, which people should do. Although it's been kind of tough and it's hurt a little bit at times, I realized that I need to also put myself first a lot more of the time and be more mindful of who I choose to like allow to be selfless towards because not everyone deserves it that's just the matter of the fact and if you give it to everyone you end up getting hurt so yeah that is something i've learned so i would 100 percent say like i'm starting to realize how much it's carnage out here like savages hunger games part three real life it's mad so then the second thing i have learned is that I am a lot stronger than I thought. I faced a lot of challenges recently, personally, mentally, with circumstances and all that kind of stuff. And I've been given the opportunity to prove to myself that I am stronger than I thought. I doubt sometimes my ability to take on life's, life's L's, <laughs> life's, life shade that it loves to throw so much there's been periods where i've thought like really truly i don't know if i'm cut out for all of this but the past couple of months i might not have been saying it whilst i was in it but looking back i've been able to see that like because of like my faith because of my family because of my friends like i am strong enough and that there is strength inside of me to take on challenges you only realize your strength through facing tough times as well so then the third thing that i've learned to do is to cry less if you really know me like if you're my family or like my close close friends you will know that i am a crier i am an emotional person in terms of the way i express myself and i think that comes with being an extrovert although not all extroverts are emotional but i am i wouldn't say i'm a drama queen but i can be if i want to be so like a little bit so i think that kind of whole drama sort of type of me side of me and that whole like extraness of me which i am a bit extra i will not pretend like i'm not you if you watch my videos extra just with my hand movements everything that kind of extra and all of that comes out in tears like the past three weeks stuff has been happening and i just haven't cried i've just realized like 
there's a time and a place for tears and this just isn't it like don't waste your energy on the tears like channel that energy and keep busy and do other things like if you want to be like some people are not worth your tears some people are not worth you're upset and you're hurt. You might want to cry, but sometimes it is not necessary to cry. And so I think in learning to cry less, I've learned to be able to control my emotions more. Don't get me wrong, we got a long way to go, sis. But like that little bit, like I'm that little bit better at it. For that, I am like really happy about and I'm proud of myself for. I'm not saying crying's a bad thing, but like everything in moderation, right? Like. The next thing I have learned is about not giving your thoughts the power to control your mind and your life. I think it's so easy to get carried away in your head and it's so easy to let a thought, to let a lie get into your head and to dictate the way you see things, the way you react to things, the way you feel about things. I'm slowly starting to like see how important through guidance from family and um, through going to church and stuff like that how important it is to take those thoughts and to and capture them hold them captive obviously we all know how powerful our minds are but I'm starting to realize how I then have to take the effort take the time make the effort take the time to actually try and control it and not let it control me something I've learned recently is that a lot of the time I am my biggest barrier I am the one thing stopping myself from doing the thing that I deep down want to do and I've noticed that like when you're the person stopping yourself it kind of leads into frustration and then you're frustrated about the situation you're frustrated about your look about the way things are working out and the way things are going and then when I really sometimes like try and take time to reflect I realize that I'm frustrated that like things aren't getting done or I'm frustrated that like things aren't going the way I want it and half the time it's because I didn't do it like, literally don't block your own blessing like sometimes you are literally standing in the way of your own damn self and to sometimes just like be like step aside girl and let's go get it like get your life you know what I'm saying the next thing is that I have learned which I think uni kind of teaches you to do is to be an independent I'm like learning to like say no and not feel bad after I say no because I feel like I'm not that bad at saying no but then I let like the guilt or I let like FOMO and stuff like that get to me so I think something that uni is teaching me is to say no and be happy with your no or if you say yes be happy with your yes and making decisions and doing things because you want to do them not because someone else asked you to do them obviously there's a line sometimes you have to do things you don't want to do for other people like friendships and relationships and all that kind of thing it's like a two-way street but like sometimes just saying like no like I just want to stay in and I just want to stay in my bed I'm not going to feel bad about it I'm not going to feel like I should be doing something else and then the next thing I have learnt in the past couple of months is how important it is to have people smarter than you, wiser than you and older than you in your life guiding and directing you. Yes, it's good to have like friends and people who are around your age and stuff like that, but it's also really important, I've realised, to have people who have been through it. And by that I mean, you don't necessarily have to be a parent, although for me it is my mum a lot of the time but also my auntie and my older cousins as well as you can see there's kind of a trend with my family um yeah it's really important to have people who have been through it who have who live to tell the tale in a way because sometimes the people who are around you your friends and stuff are also going through it and they don't have not all the answers but they don't have the end answer they don't exactly always know and they don't have the wisdom that your parents or people who are older do have so I would definitely say I've learned that it's important to have elders and people who are older than you who you can turn to as well okay so that is it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button down below follow me on my social medias as well my twitter at everythingjody1 and my instagram as well jody underscore okine i think it is i'm gonna leave you guys here and yeah so i don't know why i'm still looking this out see you guys later bye